The whole idea here is to begin to explore what a natural user interface would be like and also to presume what would happen when the computer begins to uh, have context, to have more memory, and to bring those things forward to improve the interface. So for example, let me just start and, and, and write, uh, since I'm pursuing zero carbon uh, research, you know, I can start to, to write that and it says, okay, you know, that's probably what you're doing. So just like today, it helps you fill out the names on your, uh, on a, on your emails. There's no reason that, that, you know, given appropriate context, it can't, you know, anticipate what you want more and just finish things for you. So I'll just circle that as a gesture to indicate that I want to, that it's correct and I'll say I, I want to do a search uh, on that. So I'll go out and basically uh, use the internet to collect a set of documents that relate to this or that I've been accumulating uh, regarding this. And of course, at this scale uh, and, and resolution, that's not very interesting. But I might say, computer, organize it for me. And you know, we can take the metadata that's there and cluster these things around different parameters that might make it easier for me to navigate. You know, uh, clustering around research or publications that, you know, uh, that, that are relevant, news stories, you know, colleagues' work. So I'll say, computer, zoom into research. And so here you, you get a, uh, another map of, of the, a lot of these documents. And, and I can do eye tracking now to basically just sort of look around uh, and, and look at the screen. And each time I look at a different place, you know, it, it sort of pops up one and will end on... Uh, on this one. 